Hey everyone, this is Nate from Get VoIP, and today we're covering the similarities and differences between CPaaS and CCAS. Let's get right to it. CPaaS, or Communications Platform as a Service, is a cloud-hosted software platform providing communication APIs to plug into your company's application code, adding new functionalities like voice calling, SMS texting, and video conferencing. CCAS, or Contact Center as a Service, is a cloud-hosted contact software solution with built-in omni-channel communication features, a business phone system, ticketing capabilities, call management tools, routing capabilities, and analytics. The difference between CPaaS and CCAS is that CPaaS is an API programming code that plugs into your apps to add new communication functionality, while CCAS is a fully developed software application ready-made with communication features. A CPaaS platform offers the APIs, SDKs, and documentation for your developers to add an isolated capability, like outbound voice calling, into your app's software code, unlocking new use cases. This API builds upon a business application that you already own and have developed. On the other hand, a CCAS solution doesn't just provide a communication function, it provides an entire contact center solution with a suite of channels, features, and tools. You subscribe to a complete application hosted and owned by the service provider. The result? CCAS solutions have less flexibility, less control, less ownership, but quicker installation and wider functionality compared to CPaaS APIs. Both CPaaS and CCAS provide cloud-based communication tools, benefit your end users, improve customer experience, and offer more flexibility and scalability than traditional on-premise communication systems. When you use a CPaaS or CCAS service, the provider has already created the communication functionality. You either program the API code into your application with CPaaS or subscribe to a new software application with CCAS. In either case, adding new users is as simple as signing up a new employee on your account with the provider, assigning a virtual phone number, and paying the subscription or pay per user fee. You'll want to use CPaaS when you already have a communication app or when you only want to add isolated channels. Now on the other hand, you'll want to use CCAS when your team doesn't have an app or in-house developers or to add a large library of communication channels and features. To learn more about the similarities and differences between CPaaS and CCAS, click on the article in the link in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell below to keep up with our journey to simplify the VoIP world. Till next time, this is Nate from Get VoIP.